WWE Figs and Scorpion BLS, you have been acknowledged. Metal Driver here, and today I am continuing on with the new Elite Legends figures, and today I am looking at Series 17, Shawn Michaels. On the side, we get an image of Shawn, then on the back, we get the same image, along with some information and the rest of the figures that are in this wave, but enough of the box. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and open this up and take a closer look at the Heartbreak Kid. Here you see a 360 look at HBK. We can see all the details on the figure, and it comes with a few accessories that include interchangeable gloved gripping hands, a pair of sunglasses that are already on the figure, they are removable, they look nice stylized in this new generation 90s design, which looks pretty nice, we have seen this before, a little bit warped on this side, and then the other accessory that we have is the entrance vest, this looks really nice, now I don't think this is brand new, I'm pretty sure this is the exact same one that came with the ringside exclusive Shawn Michaels a number of years ago. In fact, looking at images online right now, yeah, this is pretty much the same one. I don't see really any difference, but it is nice. I like it, especially since I missed out on that ringside exclusive Sean, so it's nice to have this one in my collection now. The detailing on the vest looks really nice. The paint looks really good. I don't see anything that's majorly mispainted or sloppy. Sculpting on the strap right here and the buckle looks really nice. Same thing right here. Really good. I like all these zippers. Good sculpting, good paint. Some nice red zebra collars right here. On the back it says, I'm too sexy for this crowd. So yeah, the ringside one had this phrase on the back as well. So yeah, pretty much the same thing. Good lettering, good paint detail. Looks really nice. I like this. So I am happy to have this. It's really cool. And just looks so nice on Sean. And speaking of looking nice, this head sculpt looks nice. Not brand new, we have seen this before with the previous Shawn Michaels from this time period, the WrestleMania one, the Flashback Series one, and of course that ringside exclusive. So if you have any of those Shawn figures, you should know what to expect with this. It is painted well, good detail, the eyes are painted well, which makes me feel relieved because this figure has the sunglasses on, so you can't really choose out which one has the best paint apps, so whichever one you buy, you just gotta cross your fingers that when you take the sunglasses off, the eyes aren't gonna be lopsided or lazy looking. That's more of a modern Sean, not classic Sean. Lips are painted well, eyebrows are painted well. Get some earrings right here, looks good. Same thing on the other side. Good sculpting on the hair, looks nice. Beautiful mullet there. Looking at the upper body, pretty much the same one that we see with all the Sean figures. Some nice detailing on the chest hair right there, so that looks good. He's got some nice double jointed pinless elbows, so that's always good. Black wristband with a black fingerless glove. Good detail there, so that looks nice. Same thing on the other side, and then no bicep tattoo on the left arm. This is before he got that tattoo, and I do believe the ringside exclusive also does not have that tattoo. But what is different from the ringside version is that the paint deco has different colors. That one had red zebra stripes, this one is black and white, or just black on white tights. So, a little bit of a difference there, so if you do have the original, you do have a somewhat of a different figure here. So you're not just buying the exact same one over again. Plus, this one has the updated articulation. The paint detail on the zebra stripes look really good. Nothing too majorly mispainted or sloppy. A little bit of missing black paint right there. But aside from that, I really don't see anything else that looks too terrible or too bad. Good detail all the way around. Black knee pads, then white boots with some black on the front. Good paint there, so overall nice looking, and I'm pretty happy with how this looks so far. Going over the articulation, head is on a ball joint, looks that high up, that far down, not the best range there. Can turn side to side and tilt very well. Shoulder goes that high up, rotates all the way around. There is a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, great range there. A swivel and hinge at the wrist. He crunches that far forward, goes that far back, waist swivel. Legs go that far out, so excellent range there. They go that high up, so really good range of motion on the legs. Thigh cut, double jointed knees. A cut at the top of the boot, ankle goes that high up, that far down. And some slight ankle pivot. Here's the new Legends Series 17 Shawn Michaels standing next to the Flashback Series Elite Shawn Michaels figure. 
Here he is next to the WrestleMania Elite Shawn Michaels. Then here are all three figures standing next to each other wearing their entrance gear. And finally here he is next to the SummerSlam Elite Sensational Sherry. I am really digging the new Legend Series 17 Shawn Michaels, especially since I missed out on the ringside exclusive one. And this one's pretty close to that. I love the attire choice, love the vest. The paint apps came out very well on this figure. Now I can see maybe some people who have the original version, who really don't care about articulation, maybe may want to skip out on this figure. That's totally fine. I think objectively it's better because of the updated double jointed elbows and the swappable hands. So for me, I think it's worth getting. And so far I'm enjoying Legend 17. This is my second figure that I reviewed from the set. And I've been pretty happy with the figure so far. So hopefully the next one I review is also good. So if you're interested in this wave, they are popping up at Target stores in the US right now. So if you're interested, hopefully you're able to find it. But in the meantime, hit that like button, subscribe. Then if you want to see the first figure that I reviewed, which was the Dingo Warrior, click on the card at the end of the video, and I'll see you next time.